Hello Universe, I'm Joey and I'm here to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes, Sonic the Hedgehog, but not the video game universe, the parallel universe of Sonic the Hedgehog comics. So, let's discuss Sonic the Hedgehog comics, or at least I'll discuss them. Um, if I hear what you have to say about it, uh, I'm in a video, so uh, that, that'll be pretty concerning actually. But yeah, I'm going to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog comics because I think it's worth discussing the history of this great comic series and the possibility that it might actually come to an end. I sure hope it doesn't. Hello everybody! Uh, I got on my talking about stuff time. Well, it's Star Trek. I'm going to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog. Throw in Ghostbusters and you'd have everything that I truly love that has somehow been ruined at some point. <laughs> uh, and if I'm a little bit frazzled, it's not because of any of that. Uh, I'm, I'm just having one of those days where, did you ever get it? Hmm. How can I say this without really going into too much detail? Did you ever get in an argument where it's like you're arguing with co about common sense with an adult, and it's like, I shouldn't have to have this conversation. What the fuck are they saying? If they're not going to shut up, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm out. I'm going away. I'm not, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I'm kind of frazzled because I had one of those moments. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, I, I mean, I'm really exhausted. I flopped down in front of the computer. I thought, well, you know what? I should do something constructive with my time. i got to let my blood pressure drop. Let's see what's on the internet. Because the internet's a great place to find good news. But luckily, all the bad news I can find is in entertainment. And while it's sad to see entertainment going down the toilet, uh, it, it, it's, you know, it's like, it's not life or death. <laughs> I could drop dead from blood pressure issues of stress and screaming, but at least, at least, uh, unless that happens, nothing life or death at the moment. Oh. Yeah, well, anyway, to, to, get, to stop with the backstory on why I might be a little frazzled at the moment. Uh, Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. One of the greatest, eh, probably... Yeah, one of the greatest video game franchises. Perhaps not the greatest. There's also Fantasy Star, which is pretty fucking awesome. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog. Just, just absolutely awesome. And one of the best incarnations of Sonic the Hedgehog... Uh, well, Sonic the Hedgehog... Using the, the simple mythology behind the character, even from the early days, there were great incarnations of Sonic that came in the form of comics and cartoons. Granted, the Saturday Mo or not Saturday morning, granted, the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog was known for being... It was ridiculous. It didn't care that it was ridiculous. I could sit down and watch it and enjoy it on the same level I could enjoy a ridiculous episode of Looney Tunes. But it, it wasn't what people wanted. But then they did, like, the Saturday morning series, which was just titled Sonic the Hedgehog, which was bloody fucking awesome. There was Sonic X which was a fairly weak cartoon show, but it was still good and successful because it borrowed elements, story elements, from the video games. And some of those video games actually had dark, complex, and fascinating characteristics that made Sonic the Hedgehog just fucking awesome. Plus, he had some of the... Actually, he had the best, best gameplay in a two-dimensional side-scrolling, um, platform-jumping, whatever. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog was top of the line for gameplay, he also had some of the shittiest games possible for gameplay, but the old Sonic the Hedgehog games on the Sega Genesis and Sega CD, even Knuckles Chaotix on the 32X, pretty fucking awesome. Then Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 on the Dreamcast, and uh, a lot of people really pick apart Shadow the Hedgehog, but I mean, the gameplay in that I thought was awesome. Uh, but yeah, there were some real great Sonic the Hedgehog games, and I think the sun just went behind a cloud. Either that or my blood pressure just dropped and I'm about to die. Uh, yeah. Unrelated to this story. Unrelated to this story. Uh, anyway. Uh, I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog was so much fucking awesome you could do with it. And one comic book published by Archie. And you could say great things about Archie. You could uh, refer to Archie as the worst pathetic shit uh, and minutia possible. You could look at Archie from either perspective. I've seen people do it. 
and I understand both ways of looking at it, but in a way, Sonic the Hedgehog... Archie was the perfect place for Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, because if you looked at what Archie... Archie resisted it, but if you looked at the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle adventures published by Archie, that went some dark and fascinating places. Granted, it was with the resistance of Archie, but fuck Archie. Archie still published an awesome car comic that had sort of a cartoonishness, but a dark complexity that just made it fucking awesome. And the same went for Sonic the Hedgehog. It could be cartoony and light and silly, and dark, complex, and sad. You, it could do whatever the fuck it wanted, because that that was able to happen at Archie. And they weren't just going to say, "Well, this is a throwaway ripoff. This was just a throwaway publication. We're just borrowing a video game franchise." You know, if it wasn't Marvel or DC, I think it would have got canceled. You know, I I don't think it would have lasted as long as it did. But it was at Archie, and Archie, it was like the best fucking thing Archie had for decades. Yeah, and it has awesome history. We're talking some real fucking awesome history with this thing. It started off borrowing too much from the silly cartoon series. It learned from the serious cartoon series. Now, a lot of people love that old Saturday Morning Saw at the Hedgehog cartoon series, and I agree, I would agree with them. It had awesome stories. And it had a, I keep coming back to this term, dark complexity. The stories had a complexity to them. They were serious. They went dark places. Um, there was one weakness I found in it. Of all the versions of Sonic the Hedgehog, and I mean the character, it was probably the dumbest version of Sonic. I don't really like Sonic being portrayed as a character that doesn't like to think. I'm okay with him being impatient and not liking to spend a lot of time stopping and thinking, but I prefer Sonic a little bit smarter. And, and, the, and the comics did a pretty good job of bridging the different versions of Sonic the Hedgehog, even if the comics were way too silly early on. But that was actually part of the charm. It reminded me of reading old Mad Balls comics or Elf comics that you didn't really, you didn't necessarily think of it as a serious story, but you could sit back and enjoy it as a silly version of something that you already liked. But from all that silliness, it grew and evolved, became serious. Um, it, it, did, it, it developed its own canon. Like some of the serious stuff, you re some of the silly stuff, you started to realize you weren't meant to take serious, but there were more serious plot lines for you to follow. It evolved into something really impressive. And it deserves a lot of credit for the creativity that went into it and the longevity that it had. It lasted a long time and it did a fucking good job of it too. Uh, and I like it. I, to this day, I still like it. And yes, they had squabblings with uh, previous writers who said, I own all this stuff I ever did. You stop referencing that. And they're like, what the fuck? Like, there was a lot of, like, stuff that went on there that was unfortunate. And how did they handle it? They, they rebooted the universe, kind of like DC Comics often does, and they, they, they worked around all the stuff that uh, they, they had. To, uh, it, the way they handled their problems, I was actually pretty impressed with. And I'm actually pretty happy with the new timeline they created, too. The new writer, Ian Flynn, I believe is the name of the guy that did most of the work after Ken Penders left and then kind of kind of screwed with them after he left a bit. Ian Flynn, uh, he, he deserves a lot of credit for all the work he did. And at the same time they were doing an awesome Sonic the Hedgehog comic, they did an awesome Mega Man comic for a while there too. And I really wish they would bring that back. But it looks like Sonic is going away. We're almost, I think we're almost to 300 issues now. I'm not good at keeping track of issue numbers. And they recent, recently they're doing a flashback story arc which involves references to the events of the video games that are now part of the timeline, but in a different way after the timeline was rebooted. I found it kind of odd that they're doing the timeline of the video games in this comic universe as Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic CD, then Sonic 3, and Sonic and & Knuckles, uh, mainly because when you look at Sonic CD, I think it should take place between Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. Uh, even though the release order it did, uh, when it actually released to the public, it was after Sonic 2 came out and before Sonic 3. Um, but, I don't know. <sighs> but, yeah, um, 
Uh, I mean, that was something I noticed in one of the more recent story arcs, doing flashbacks to Sonic's origins. Um, but, but yeah, story has it that's just been coming out, and if you just heard a loud cracking noise, the fridge, the fridge did something weird. I don't think it broke, but uh, that's a background noise that I'm referring to now. Uh, anyway, it's kind of shocking and disappointing that there are rumors going around that Sonic the Hedgehog might be on the verge of being cancelled. Yeah, that's, 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 that's kind of sad. That's kind of fucked up. Uh, for going as many issues as it has, and having the long, impressive history that it has, that is disappointing. This is a comic book universe with a lot of history, a lot of quality. Uh, it, ha it had a, more than a few missteps, but... It's an impressive series. Now, are there some things that disappointed me as time went on? Um, well, they redesigned some of the characters, and none of them looked as cool as they used to. I mean, Princess Sally, for example, that character, Sally Acorn, whatever the fuck. Uh, they, they gave her kind of like this cartoonish to the extreme look. I think they're trying to compensate for the fact people criticize Sally Acorn for being too sexy. It was a complaint they got, and that is fucking hilarious to me. People are like, what? They're sexualizing that humanoid chipmunk. I can't fuck. It's it's fucking hilarious that I mean people looked at that chipmunk's too sexy. Change it. I mean, there's actually a reason why the character was redesigned. I mean, the new the redesign I thought was lame. But holy fuck, they there was actually complaints that the fucking cartoon chipmunk was too fucking sexy. Which actually that's why if you look at watch the old cartoons and the earlier comics, she used to wear a vest. She wears, like, this vest. That's because her body lines were too human-like, and it made her too sexy because, you know, she's female, so the, the shape of her body was... It's like, that's a fucking cartoon fucking... Actually, I think it's a hybrid chipmunk and squirrel. Is she chipmunk or squirrel? What the fuck? Fucking how cute. It's a cartoon fucking rodent. And it's like, yeah, it's too sexy. That's one of the complaints that I had. That's too sexy. That's a fucking complaint the fucking series got. by redesigning the character after one of the major universe rebooting events and I just thought that was weird. I, I thought, why did they change the look of this character? They changed the appearance of other characters too and all the new appearances kind of sucked. But it's like, uh, then I remember reading what the reason why the Sally Acorn character was changed. I don't know why the other ones were changed. I didn't like the changes done to the other ones either. But the reason why Sally Acorn herself was changed was they thought there were complaints that she was too sexy. In fact, in fact, there was a little bit of censorship. <laughs> there was one scene where she gets into a pool of water and she takes off her vest first. And apparently when they reprinted it in trade paperback, I don't think I have the trade paperback. Maybe I do. I probably have the original somewhere. She took off her vest before she got into the water. And this vest, I mean, it's an open vest, it's whatever. But she took off her vest before she walked into the water. Makes sense if you don't want to get your vest wet. And considering they're fucking furry fucking animals, their genitals and nipples are covered by fucking fur, uh, they, and they look like cartoon fucking animals. I mean, the fucking Bugs Bunny doesn't wear pants. I mean, she, walks into, she took off the vest before she walked into the water. Apparently people said that was too sexual. She didn't want to get the vest. So in the reprints of it, they, they, she leaves the vest on when she goes into the water. And to me, that is fucking hilarious. That is fucking hilarious that one, people complained about it, and they actually did something about it. I mean, I, I don't really care. It's a fucking chipmunk cartoon fucking character. But to me, that's fucking hilarious. And I'm glad that if I'm going to be screaming about something now, it's something fucking hilarious. Uh, but no, it is actually sad and disappointing that Sonic the Hedgehog is at risk of being cancelled. It's also sad considering the amazing work they did with the Mega Man characters that that comic is on permanent or indefinite hiatus. Not necessarily permanent. They could have resurrected it at any time uh, if they get the chance. And I think Archie should throw the money and effort into keeping Sonic the Hedgehog alive 
in comic book form and as published by Archie, I think they should also throw some money and effort and hire some more writers and editors and artists to bring back Mega Man. Because I don't hate Archie, but when Archie is all that Archie has... No, Archie needs Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. And they sure as hell could use Mega Man. So I think Archie should... Should really get things together and really try to continue supporting that that comic franchise. I, I can't really picture sales being low, but I, I don't know the numbers for the book. But look into it. Sonic the Hedgehog it has a long history being published by Archie Comics. There's a lot of really great trade paperbacks out there. Look into it. Look it up on any of the wikias, the, the Wikipedia-like pages that are dedicated to Sonic the Hedgehog. See if anything's interesting to you. Look into it. I think we should support it and, you know, hope that Archie doesn't actually cancel it. But if it is canceled, that, that that's history gone down the tube. Well, not really gone down the tube. That's history coming to an end in a way. Because th that is pretty historic how long Sonic the Hedgehog had been published by Archie. It's sad to see it go. It's sad to see it go. But that, that might be that might be on the horizon. That might be on. That might be in the future for Sonic the Hedgehog, as published by Archie. Something great coming to an end. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But it might. It might. And yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. So yeah, look into it. And if it interests you, if you if you uh, ever see anything at all, Sonic the Hedgehog that was published by Archie that you think might be interesting, look into the trade paperbacks. You might be able to um, get some from Archie. Uh, why not promote it? I, I'm, I'm suggesting taking a look into it. Why not promote it? I thought it was great, so I hope it doesn't really come to an end. I hope Archie gets things together and finds a way to keep the series alive. And I'm not sure why they might be canceling it. I don't know. Maybe sales are down. I don't know. But I, I think it's worth looking into, and it's worth talking about, because... I'm just repeating myself, but that's a that's a comic book series with some serious history. So yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog by Archie. It's worth looking into. It was pretty impressive while it lasted. That's assuming it's coming to an end. Let's hope it doesn't come to an end. Well, if you found this video interesting, there's always a chance you might find some of my other videos interesting. <laughs>